Hi friends, welcome back to channel SciTaker. In this we are going to do the 4G plus carrier aggregation test in the ICO 7 device after the recent software update. Yes friends, just yesterday only I did receive the update which is 1.73.1 and most of the users they also received the update yesterday because I think uh, that is the last batch of users who did get the update and I'm getting a lot of questions regarding the 4G plus aggregation, carrier aggregation as you can see. So I'm getting the comments like the ICO 7 after the recent update, the 4G plus carrier aggregation is also got affected. So I'm getting a lot of comments asking me to make a video in case, in case if you are having the IQ sound device, if you are facing any kind of 4G plus career aggregation problems after this update, please try to comment in the description, in the comments below because that will be really helpful for other users, not for me, other users, because if they are having issues, they should know they are not alone with this kind of problem so that it can be fixed with the next updates. So make sure to let me know in the conversation below friends. And right now I did update to the latest version. Now I'm going to check the RX monitor application, what is showing. So it's showing geo SIM card and you can see 2CA so which clearly shows you the 4G plus aggregation I'm getting without any kind of issues. So this FX can be from one person to other person I mean one location to other location as well. So even that thing you should definitely understand. So but for me in my location using Geo SIM card I did not have any kind of FX in my device. Let me just show you the NetMonster application what is showing. So NetMonster the band is showing about 1800 band frequency and I'm getting 4G plus exactly. So for me, there is no issues regarding the 4G plus connectivity in my IQ sound device. So I thought of making a video and asking you guys in case if you have the IQ sound device, are you facing this kind of issues or not? And right now I'm getting 4G plus and 1800 band frequency and the speeds are about close to 14 and 15. So not bad. So I don't have any kind of issues with me in terms of the carrier aggregation on the IQ sound device. So let me know in the comment section below are you facing these problems or not and that's the reason I thought of making a video and asking you all. And in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section regarding this device what are other videos you want me to upload. So definitely I'll try to upload as soon as possible. So that's it friends thank you for watching and overall in my experience for me I did not feel any kind of problem. No for me there is no problem regarding the carrier aggregation but I cannot guarantee for all the users that's the reason I'm asking you guys to comment as well. Thank you for watching and see in the next video if it is also okay just comment. So I did not feel any kind of difference. Just try to comment in that way. So I can definitely totally understand what is happening. Thank you for watching and let's help the guys because I'm I'm getting a lot of comments only on this career aggregation. That's the reason I did take the screenshot I'm trying to show you. So uh, we need to help this kind of people who are actually having this kind of problems in the IQ sound device. So that's the reason make sure to comment below as well. See you in the next video and let's stay tuned. Meanwhile signing off. Bye.